I I have been scammed on sixteen eighteen before. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, Imano here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am bringing you a full mini importation course. And what I want to do is to show you how you can start mini importation business from right here in Nigeria with little or no capital and still make a lot of profit in millions. Now, I'm not a mini importation expert. That's why I brought in an expert to come teach you guys what mini importation is, how you can start, how you can scale the mini importation, and how you can succeed in this business this is going to be a very valuable one and what you want to do is to make sure you watch this video to the end and i make sure that this video is very comprehensive so that you basically have everything you need to get started even if you are just hearing of mini importation for the first time now what you need to do guys before we continue this video i want you to go to the comment section and type in how to start mini importation business in Nigeria. And what that will do is it will trigger YouTube to recommend this video to more people who want to learn mini importation. So go to the comment section, type in how to start mini importation in Nigeria and also give this video a like. And if you are just coming to the channel for the first time, you're welcome. On this channel, I create videos that help you make money online. And what you need to do right now is to hit the subscribe button below this video and turn on notifications so that I don't miss any helpful video like this that I upload on this channel. So guys, let's get into the main part of this video. Like I said, I brought in an expert, somebody who has a lot of experience, years of experience in mini importation. And these are the best kind of people you should learn from. If you want to learn a trade, if you want to learn a business, you learn from people who are actively practicing. And the person I have for you today has years in this business and you are going to be learning from first-hand experience so that you will not have any challenge as you try to implement what you are going to learn in this video and the person i'm bringing to you guys in this video is mrs fumilola alex and i'm so excited to have you in this video thank you, you so today? much i'm doing very great how are you too sir i'm very fine thank you Good all right guys so today we are going to be learning mini importation from fumi lola alex so ma can you just introduce yourself to the people who are watching this video who are just seeing you for the first time they're hearing about you for the first time who you are okay. and what you do hi guys welcome to the show i am fumi lola alex and i'm into mini importation i've started a business for almost about five years now wow. so that is what i do i do it fully actually i also have a nine to five job i do but mini importation has been what i've been doing for almost five years now so i know you're going to gain so much in this session that we are about to start awesome awesome so she's still in a nine to five job that means you don't have to quit your job for you to no. start and scale with mini importation, you can do it part time and still make a lot of money. So, guys, I'll just go straight into the questions we have. And this question here is the full curriculum you need to start mini importation business from Nigeria. So, make sure you pay full attention. And if you miss any part of this video, just scroll back a bit, rewatch, and catch up with what you missed. So, first, we'll start with what is mini importation and um, how can one start mini importation from Nigeria? Okay, mini importation, just going back to social studies then, when we learn about importation, you know, is by bringing goods from other countries that are not your home country, bringing it into your country for sale. So that is just the idea about mini importation. You're bringing goods from other countries, foreign countries now, into your home country for sale, for the benefits to you know for trade to buy to sell to make profits so that is mini importation so how to start mini importation mini importation to start is very easy it's very simple and it's very straightforward you just need to acquire knowledge and one of the steps is just what we are doing here right now is to acquire knowledge train receive knowledge from someone who has the information you need a phone you need a mobile phone to start or a system if you don't have a system you can start with your mobile phone you need data and then of course you need knowledge i think those are basic things that you need that's basically what you need is the knowledge how to and then 
the gadget the device that can connect yes. to the internet that's all exactly. wow yes that means yes. it's so easy to do very yes. people are going to get to be getting this knowledge in this video that means after watching this video they should be able to start many importation right yes sir yes sir very easy all right so now the next question that will be in the mind of somebody who wants to start a business like this is will this business be worth it by the time i start putting in effort by the time i start doing the work by the time i start investing the time and all those things will it actually bring me return that will actually take care of serious things right so there are businesses that can bring you little amount of money but cannot really do much so i'm curious is mini importation that lucrative and how lucrative is it okay it is very lucrative but like any other business it needs your dedication it needs your commitment you need to have the master that it can work okay for instance when i started the business it wasn't making me much money like it is right now so there is room for growth in the business as well and also the mo the business is multi like it, it has different phase like you can be in the business and you're selling products you can be in the business and be offering service like you can be a procurement agent you can be in the business and be uh, and be selling products as well you can also be in the business and be selling the information on how to okay. you know teaching other people how to do it so the business yeah. is very lucrative because you can focus on either of these sessions i have you know mentioned or you can bring everything together you can do it you can be selling products you can be offering service you can be a procurement agent you can be selling the information to other people yeah. who want to train and do the business as well so it is lucrative if there's any definition of like is lucrative so you can diversify in the business it's not just one way thing more like a multiple stream of income in just one business exactly wow, wow. awesome now the next question is you know all of these questions i'm coming from the perspective of somebody who wants to start this business okay and, um, what will it take to succeed if i want to start mini importation and um, i don't just want to do it to while away time okay. i want to do it to really stand out to really make a lot of profit to really succeed in this business what will it take me i know that the normal requirement is knowledge just as you said and a device that can connect to the internet but what does it take to be outstanding? What, we, what does it take to be very successful with mini importation from here in Nigeria? Okay, thank you. To be successful in this business, you need to be able to deliver what people want. You need to be able to deliver, you know, to be sensitive to your environment. What do people want? What do they need from you? So when you can answer that question, you'll be successful in the business because what people need in january might not be what they will need in december so okay. if you want to stay relevant in the business you must always continually be able to answer that question what do people want at this time yeah. apart from knowing what people want also for you to stand out in this business you must keep upgrading yourself you must keep upgrading yourself in mini importation business for instance, when I learned importation about four years ago now, what my coach taught me then is not, you know, is not what I'm teaching my students today. What I learned then was limited. Of course, it was a foundation. But if I just stayed with what I learned then, I will not be able to operate today. Like for instance, when I started then, I could only buy through an agent. For instance, I could only buy through an agent so at the point i became tired of buying through an agent i was like okay i want to learn how to buy this thing myself i, I want to know how to do this thing myself so that i can earn more profits because i will still pay agents to of course i recommend you can still pay agents at least all of these are stages it yeah. helps you to be fully equipped so that you know the the sea you are diving in you know it very well so at the point where I learned how to do the business myself, I began to acquire knowledge. So you need to acquire more knowledge. So you must, you know, learn what people need, number one, know what 
your environment needs and number two be able to acquire more knowledge as we go if you want to stand out number three consistency like you need to keep doing it to keep getting better to keep standing out and then number four i will say that you need to uh, uh, you know use all the resources within you especially the internet very yeah. well maximizing the internet like growing your audience like mr monetary teachers on his youtube channel growing your, your your audience the platforms you can use sponsored adverts all these things will help you to grow very well in mini importation business because you don't want to just offer your service or sell your products to only people around you you want to reach out yeah. to a larger community if you're only selling to people around you at the point you get tired at the point the profit will not you know so you need to maximize all the resources around you the internet is one major like you need to be able to use the internet to your advantage very That's well cool. Yes, sir. Awesome, awesome. Like I always say, you know, most times when people start thinking about online business, they think you can cut the usual oh. process of running a business. But business, whether online or offline, making money, whether online or offline, follows almost the same process: hard work, learning, and all those things, guys. So I hope you guys have maybe a pen or maybe your notepad where you are jotting all of these things down so that you can always always refer to them now the next thing i would like to know is uh, and what a lot of people would like to know which is very very important because um when people want to start a business or if you ask somebody why are you not doing this business they'll say um they ha have the idea already they have the knowledge but then i don't have capital LIC capital and all those things so capital is a very important part of starting a business especially a business like this that involves you getting products before selling them so how much even if we don't get a particular amount was a pinch like a beginner will need to start mini importation business in nigeria and still be able to bring in these products from wherever they are coming from bring them to nigeria sell them so how much do i need as a beginner to start mini importation in nigeria okay thank you mr emmanuel well i think most of the time the issue is not how much no one will talk about capital it's not first about money that's we have human resources human is is a part of capital as well you have the, the people around you a lot of time we focus on money like how there's no okay if you are to money same okay money wise how much can i start with i cannot give a figure because it depends on what you want to sell okay or what, what you want to import if you are importing shoes now it's different from if you are importing household appliances if you want to import things like blender phones laptops the price is different from if you are importing shoes clothes but for someone who is saying okay i don't even have capital now i don't have money but how much like i know most people that ask that they are thinking okay i don't have money but i think if you don't have money you have people you have people around you it's good you maximize your your human strength like who are people around you what can you offer them let them know you can offer them value people in your church people in your mosque people in your school like they are your first customers they are the first people that once you have good character they can trust you you don't even need money to start when wow. i started back then i didn't start with my own personal money okay i actually just used my i think i used nine thousand naira to test i bought some mp3s then nine thousand naira nine thousand naira yes somebody can import with nine thousand naira yes Wow. Just like I wow. said, it depends on what you are importing. Okay. So I used nine thousand naira to buy MP3. Very, I think I bought like six pieces because then the MOQ issue was there. Three, you can buy, you can import less than three quantity. So I import like I think six of it then. So when it got to Nigeria, I was like, wow. So this importation is true, really. It's yeah. not a scam. Just to test, you get. 
But today now you should be able to be no someone, nobody should be doubting if importation is a scam or not again. I think if people know, yeah. so nobody knows that it's a real business. Yeah. Like you have people that are they will send your product, they will buy from them, you will pay them, they will send the product, and you have, your mind is at peace. So it's not a scam business at all. It's real. So me, I just wanted to test that because it was kind of new five years ago. People are just going into it. I mean, online. Except for all those people in markets that they are very used to importing and they have big money. But those of us that are starting online, then five years ago, a lot of people are just getting into the business. So now you can, if you don't have capital at all, you can start by maximizing the people around you. People around you, you can, okay, introduce a product to them, see their interest. Do they show interest? Once they show interest, you tell them, okay, this is the amount of the product. You calculate, okay, how how does it, how much will it cost me to ship this product? You need to understand that as well. I teach that also how you can calculate uh, the, the shipping fee of a product. Looking at the product, what's it made of? How big is it? How small is it? How what could it weigh? So when you calculate that, you can predict the price. So you can tell people around you, okay, this thing I want to sell to you is eight thousand era, is ten thousand era, is fifteen thousand era. So once you project it to them like that, they will say, okay, I have interest. I have interest, and then you will tell them, okay, it will take three weeks to get to Nigeria. Hope you don't mind waiting. And since it's something they they really want, they will tell you, yes, we don't mind waiting. So when you tell them that, also you tell them to send money. Okay, sir, I would like you to send at least maybe like 70% of the money to tell them to pay in advance. Most times they will pay. And I even recommend when you are just starting, you should do that so that you will not just buy goods and then you are just yeah. waiting to sell. You can actually yeah. be selling your product even before it arrives. That's true. Like I'm expecting like two cartons of Silver Crest blender now. I'm expecting it to to be here by next month i've sold almost about i have 12 in the carton 12 in the two cartons i've sold about seven already wow so, you see, so i'm using the money to also ship so the money covers the cost and the shipping so and my i mean the money people have paid me mm. so i'm yeah. not using money at all in the business yeah. and i'm still going to make good profits in the in from the products as wow. well so most time it's good you project the products you want to sell let people see let it people even drop some but if you don't mind using your own money to start you need to look mm -hmm. at the business you want to delve into go into the market like china market check the price okay so you cannot calculate if i import like maybe 10 of these products how much will it cost me okay how much then you can project how much you need to start so okay. the amount of that is not really a problem. Wow. So in essence, somebody can actually start this business without capital. Yes, you can. The knowledge is the most important thing. Exactly. So we all know that there are different types of capital, social capital, financial capital, intellectual capital, and all those things. But people just focus on money. the money, financial capital. But people who have really started businesses and done big things will tell you that money is not like the only thing in the structure. Okay, So this is very important, guys. And one thing I always also picked out is you starting to sell those, these products even before you import them. And this is one mistake you don't want to make if you're in a business because I've actually, you know, I run ads for people people actually told me uh, they imported a lot of products and now people are not buying and this is because they placed the cart before the horse right yes so you don't want to go and ship use all your money to ship in these products and then you start struggling to sell so the first thing is find That's the market true. for this product right but people yeah. already start showing interest people are already placing orders then tell them when the order will arrive that way you can even collect the money and use it in the inventory right so yeah. by the time the goods arrive in nigeria your product is almost already sold out like 12 blenders are coming and seven yeah. are sold out already that's business okay and this is one good way 
to make money because you are using other people's money and serving them value and making profit for yourself and this can be applied in any industry real estate agents do this right um people do this so very important always ensure there's a market for your product before you ship no matter how much you have and even if you don't have money to start this is the process you can follow find people who buy and let them place orders and then with the knowledge you are going to learn in the moment you see how to um, get these orders to come to nigeria the next question what is the what are the processes involved what i mean is for instance i do affiliate marketing online and the process for me to make money with affiliate marketing is finding affiliate offers finding targeted okay. traffic to promote these offers too and then creating value and then promoting my affiliate link so these are the processes involved and sometimes i'll use ads to promote my affiliate links sometimes i have to build a website sometimes i have to create um posts blog posts articles and all those things so there are a lot of things i would do to really get the business going so what are for mini importation if you want to start mini importation in nigeria what are the processes involved what are the structures i need to put in place what are the platforms i'll be using okay okay if you are starting the platforms the process will be that you need a, a device like we have mentioned earlier you yeah. need to know the, the markets to source your products from you need to know the market you are sourcing your product i mean china or dubai or whatever country you are importing from you need to also understand the company the country's currency how do their currency work what is their exchange rate and then you need to have reliable shipping companies that can bring in your products and then you need to have a lot of those companies so that you can you know weigh prices you can also you know because sometimes you, you need to know their efficiency as well of those companies you need to have that as your call and back as well and also you need to know how to test your like okay how do i source for quality products how do i source for products that you know you are sure because most of the time you are, you are sourcing from your phone so how are you sure what you are sourcing for is original how do you want to bargain price those are processes that you need to go through as well so you will need to have those things okay for instance you're also buying yourself you don't you're not going through an agent okay you need to you know maybe download an application or get contacts of people who can buy from you buy for you from china so you need those process you know if you don't you can't go yourself like okay you can't be in china yourself but yeah. who will enter those stuff for you how do you get their contacts those are processes that you need to you need to put in place so if you are buying through an agent as well how do you get those agents are they reliable are they trustworthy you need to be able to answer that question too so that you can be sure you are in good hands okay so you've talked about selling to people before even the product arrive now by the time the product arrive in nigeria what are the process i'll follow to sell them like using ads facebook ads google ads will i need delivery companies to get the delivery done are the goods coming to my house or there's a process where the goods can just pass from the supplier to the buyers without me being involved so how do i distribute these products how do i get people to buy and then get this product to them by the time these products arrive in nigeria okay everything now is very easy everything is very easy once your product gets to nigeria to get to your shipping warehouse in nigeria most most of the time lagos abuja potakot they have warehouse in those places so if it's in lagos for instance and you are if you're in lagos you can just pick up your products those people they don't dispatch goods for you like the warehouse will not open your box and start helping you to send to your customers no but what will happen is that if your goods get to the warehouse in lagos you don't need to go to lagos to go and get it you can send dispatch riders even in lagos to pick up your goods for you 
and when they go to the warehouse you just give them the information on your teller that okay i've made payment for the shipping of these particular products and then i want to get this particular product for this person they'll contact the person too and then once you give your validation they release the package so when the dispatcher that gets your own goods it, the person can send to you to start dispatching or this is another thing that can happen once the dispatch rider gets your goods they are riders that also help in dispatching so even if you are not in lagos for instance they can have the products in their whole hand and then they will help you to deliver to your customers in lagos another thing that you can also do is that the the your package can be you can put your package in a in in a garage for instance in a popular garage so you can liaise with someone there so the person can help you once you know they can maybe people can pick up in lagos from them even though you are not in lagos you can pick up at the garage or the dispatchers can help you deliver to them then you tell them to pay on delivery okay so sometimes people like paying on delivery as well yeah. and yes, yes so once you have informed the dispatcher that you have not collected so they are not just any out dispatcher there are people that that is the business they do as well they help you to okay. deliver your goods, and then you will tell them they should collect money that you have not collected money. So those people, you will pay them for their okay. service as well. And another thing is that you, you also need to run sponsored adverts for your products. You wow. can. So when you run sponsored adverts nationwide, anywhere in Nigeria, you can get to sell your goods anywhere in Nigeria. Just through the process I mentioned earlier, you can use dispatch riders in different states to deliver, like to help you deliver your products to customers that you might have maybe you're in lagos you're selling to someone in portacourt someone in abuja everything in now is easy just about sitting down and calculating how will this thing work okay who do i need to make this work so another thing is when your product gets to lagos and you're not in lagos maybe you're in ibadan like i'm in ibadan i can receive a product in ibadan and start dispatching myself i have riders i use to deliver product like last two last month i a customer bought about two cartons of blender from me like she bought the whole carton so when the something got here i just called a one of the riders i used to deliver to our own office so the person delivered the product to our office straight wow. so you need we need riders you need logistics you need you need um, sponsored adverts so that you can reach a larger community for your, for your products to sell and for you to be able to make you know maybe you have not made your money before you need to make yeah. your money very quickly so like you talked about um having um, warehouses in places like lagos port Harcourt. now yeah. okay. can i deliver to like every state in nigeria because definitely there are some locations that are not as connected as lagos or port Harcourt or abuja so yeah because you want to only sell to places where you can actually deliver to so is it possible is it possible to get riders in every location in nigeria i think it's possible okay. it's possible actually it's every there is radley and okay if you have a, a customer in a place for instance you can ask that customer how can you get this like okay can ask them for the riders around them that day to they know yeah. most of the time people that are used to buying online they always have you know they can even suggest to you yeah. can send you through this person i don't advise using dhl or all those because they can be expensive yeah. actually so they, they can suggest to you that you can use this particular company to bring to me and awesome so you just talked about dhl you know one of the reasons why this business model is called mini importation yeah. because the expenses the work the systems yeah. are quite minimal than yeah. when you are into full scale um, importation. importation yeah now i want to ask how do i get rider contacts as a beginner okay. i don't know anybody in this business and i'm just starting afresh where do i get riders contacts from and what's what's your fee like are they charging me percentage or what they will charge you they charge they collect fee 
how to get them that is why it's good that you know when you're starting business, business like this you can't just start as a lone ranger at least be yeah. connected with someone who is already in the business that can put you through mentor you so i do that too i teach people so you can always get contact from the person teaching you because i believe they will have experience yeah. about the business unless they don't want to release it but someone you have paid to for information should be able to release such information to you so for instance okay. how much do they charge depends on sometimes it depends on the quantity okay in the battle now we have alcon logistics we have safe border we have like they are much we have yeah. some that and then you can even use uber you can use i use uber i use both maybe which one if you want what you want to carry a bike cannot carry it mm. you can use all these boats okay for instance if you want to order uber in the battle now it's about 1500 naira or 2000 naira okay. for delivery so if you are using these bikes that do delivery like safe border you they are online they have an app you order online for the app so most of the time location is about 600 naira 500 naira to deliver okay and then this are called logistics now they their own price is fixed when they started they said 500 naira anywhere in Ibadan. but now because of price fuel increase and everything is now 800 naira anywhere in Ibadan. okay yes so you can you can so you can also check online for logistics but i just feel it's better you use those people that you know you have seen someone use it and you can trust their service but at the same time there's always a first time to everything yeah so you can check on google that and you can check on youtube as well lots of information yeah. on YouTube. yes so guys that point is very important get a coach get a mentor right and this is there are a lot of scammers who have something that looks real so if yeah. you w- just want to jump in and then you start picking random numbers from facebook or yeah. anywhere where they claim to be, be a delivery company yeah. you might lose your money and lose your product so that's why it's very important you go through somebody you get contact from somebody who is already in this business because you will be able to get in touch with trusted delivery people not a delivery man that will collect your product and then really? delay delay the delivery to you maybe a week or some days so follow yeah. a mentor follow who is already doing this um miss alex is also a youtuber i'll link her contact in the description so you can always contact her to learn from her she also has a youtube channel where she talks about business and all of these things the link will also be in the description where you can subscribe to her channel as well so like learn more of these things and get further details and also guys don't forget to go into the comment section and type in how to start mini importation in nigeria and don't forget to give DJ a like we'll continue with our questions but i just want to rewind back a bit there was a point where you talked about downloading some apps and visit some websites where you can source for this product and all this can you give us some websites or some apps that people can use to get um, suppliers and see this product and probably order this product okay okay talking about the hubs let me talk about the hubs first the the major hub that i use to to buy you know to buy from china for instance you can buy from any country can majorly you know people buy from buy from china buy from us buy from dubai but now let me talk about china 1688.com that we all know and that 1688 also has app not just the website so you can install the app but the app does not work on doesn't work on you can't download the app from play store for instance it will not work that way so you need to download the app from the website from 1688 website for it to work and then there are some process you need to have a alipay username all those things to set up your application as well so number two you know you can use apps in nigeria you can use jumia you can use conga aliexpress you can use those apps to source for products also and you know like for instance you can 
you can check a product okay let me say blender for instance you check the blender on on jumia because jumia is an you know is english is built up in english it's very easy for you to understand and it's kind of much more comprehensive than all this chinese site yeah. so i i like to use jumia use conga to get a full description of the product i want to buy from china so even sometimes if you see a particular product on chinese sites for instance or a, a site a dubai site you can bring that product to your nigerian app site and check it so that you fully understand what exactly that product is and what exactly is meant to do okay so talking about websites now the major website everybody knows 1688.com and i still feel like even that is still is still not very maximized that there is still a lot on 16 wow. that people are not even they've not even delve into like that market is so large like very large i feel like what we are even tapping from it is not even up to 10 percent wow. of what that market really has to offer that, that ma china market is a very large market sometimes when we call some products us products all this, all this it is still china making those things yeah. for those people for them mm -hmm. so so the market is so large i feel like it's not so saying okay what other website apart from cinetate i feel like it was cinetate has not been fully used it has not okay. been fully used. so it's good to survey that market very like yeah maybe before you even start selling or anything just check through the market check the categories of things available you know there, there's no limits there are a lot of things that you can import from that 1688.com awesome awesome so if somebody can fully or to an extent maximize 1688.com yes. then they should be able to do a lot yes awesome 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 i'm learning a lot mm -hmm. from this session now the next question is what are the most profitable niches to import products in nigeria i mean products that when you buy this product you are going you know you are sure you are going to make sales so that i don't go and import products that i'll just be carrying my thing around so what are the most profitable niches for mini importation in nigeria okay well i think the profitable niches depends on the people around you like the niche selling in my own area might not be what is selling in your own area so i think number one we should just be sensitive to what people are i'll still mention some of these niches but just pay attention to what people around you really need people like luxury you know they like nice shoes nice clothes nice whatever fashion fashion and beauty what they can put on especially if it is now coming in good quality and if the price is not so much like they can you know like they can get it for lesser price people like that so fashion is a niche that most people wear shoes most people when you buy shoes today it's not like you're telling yourself the next 10 years buy another one it's not true you will still want to buy another shoe and buy another shoe especially women's shoes you know female have shoes they wear out the ones they wear inside the one they wear on party days, the one they wear not party days, the one they wear. So this even this thing is still very wide on its own. So fashion is a niche that is selling. Security too. Security. People want what you know. Recently, because of the you know the unrest in the nation, Nigerians want things that you no know, that can secure them. They want a like all these um what's it called now. They can use to track their children, trackers. What they can use to track their children when they are not at home. What they can camera they can put in their house. That you know, even when they are not there, they can see what is happening in their house. Smart watch. People want such things. So things around fashion, security, health, health. People want you know. So everybody wants to be fine. Everybody wants to have beards beard gang <laughs> so people want all those things so we can offer what will you know provide them that they will patronize you health wise beauty 
is it those niches you know whatever whatever you offer in those night can sell and also like the blender i'm selling now people like things that make their life easy this blender now that i'm you know you know it's it's, it's, it's easy to it can grind almost everything we do in that kitchen and it's multifunctional you can use it to make your to grind your akara to grind beans for moi moi it will grind your pepper very smoothly you know a woman will understand the benefit of such a blender like wow you don't need to yeah. be carrying your beans all around when you want to make akara when you want to make, make moi moi so things that can make people life easy once you might not be able to tell if they will buy but you just test the market once you can see the product publicize it advertise it then the response you get and i know another thing also is that if you advertise it today and people did not respond don't say they don't have interest you can advertise again tomorrow do it again next week do it again the more you do it even people that are not interested before because you keep doing yeah, it yeah yeah Okay. them start saying which is that oh, this person to be hammering on this thing it must really worth it like yeah. from that blender now i've made a lot of profits and i'm still making so people like things that will make their life easy so those niches, whatever can make anybody life easy or fight yeah so in essence find products that solve problems in demand okay so yeah. evergreen products if it's something that people will always always need ladies shoes and then waist trainers waist trainers waist trainer. trainer. trainer are also in very high demand presently everybody wants to have flat tummy yeah yeah so it's, it's like it can never go and there are different waist trainers we see in this market that are not even expensive and when you get to nigeria you see people run selling them as high as 30,000 naira, 25,000 naira for one waist trainer that even from China, everything that will cost you to ship it and that will be up to 5,000 naira. Wow. <laughs> yes. And you sell it as high as 25, 30,000. Like the blender I'm selling now, I'm selling that 22,000 naira, 22,000 per one. Yes. And I have a customer I'm selling to that she's reselling at 35. Wow. thousand and it's still a good buy because yeah. that particular blender when you check it on jumia some people <laughs> sell it at 40 38 okay. you get so it's still a good buy even for my for the person who is selling at 35 33 she's still selling it well like so uh those products so that people can see the value you can also place your more like Put value more like something that is profitable for you. Then you uh, so we will we'll see come to the pri um, pricing strategy to use. Okay. Uh, but but the question I want to ask right now is: um, Do I need a personal website to do this? To do mini importation? Do I need a website like a landing page? Yes, yes, you need one. But you might not start with that. You might not okay. start with that as you progress. You can start, you know, that when you run sponsored adverts, people can, you know, land on your website. All that, like this time, I do teachers on his channel now. They yeah. can land on your product, on your channel, on your website. They can pay directly on your website, even without you full, being fully involved. Okay. Yes, you need a website. You might not start with it if you don't know how to run it or how to make it work but as you progress you should get one so if a beginner might not start with the website how do i process people buying paying if okay. people buy products like this they would like to see more details about the products yeah which you could have easily done on your website on your landing page and then yeah. the place where they can pay where they can enter their address for delivery and all those things so if okay for a begin for, for a start i might not need a website i might not have a website what can i use instead of a website okay you can you for instance you can use your facebook okay. your facebook you can use your whatsapp as a landing page you just you know if you're using a whatsapp you can share your li the link of your whatsapp page on your facebook when you share it on your face people can come from your facebook or from your instagram to your whatsapp and then when they want to make payments you send it via chat like they know they are chatting with you directly 
so they make payments and then they you seal the deal you know when they are expecting their products and you know if there's any change or whatever you communicate via via your whatsapp so you can people can you can use your facebook you can use your whatsapp so you know you're using it for business purpose so yeah. you can have a page on facebook for instance you can create a facebook page business page so people can buy from they can you can or publicize there share the link of whatever you are publicizing on your facebook profile share it on your whatsapp and then from there people can comment okay we like to get this thing though it can be limited because you might not get enough traffic yeah but of, with time to so you can do a sponsored advert so that you can get more traffic and then you can also invest you know invest in having a website invest in yeah even some you know landing pages that you might not even need to pay money yeah yeah you need to pay money for so you can also invest in knowledge and you know build one build one and it's all for the business good exactly so for a start you might not need to put in a lot of money but as your business grow if you want to scale past the roof you need to start putting structures in place investing in ads having a website and maybe um if you go big enough you have your own delivery agent for you and all those things now one question i want to ask now is quite all right you can get products at a very cheap price on 1688.com so what's the pricing strategy you use to price your product to ensure that you can pay the delivery agent then you can pay for the product and all the shipping fees involved and then you can still be very profitable after every expense. So, what's the best um, pricing strategy to use? Is it three times the price you bought it? Is it what's the way to price it? Okay, okay. One one way me I decide price number one is that after knowing the price of that product on 1688, I'll go to Konga App Jumia and check how people price those products like i'll check the price on of those products on those sites so that can give me a a view like okay this i can sell at this price also i can make my own a little because i sell at all sales like i give people all sales price like i want to make give you that feeling like you are buying more like yeah. you are paying less and you are buying more from me like so just like you are going to the market yourself and then you are buying at all sales you know people like to buy yeah. like ah, it's cheaper you like that feeling so if i see a product as maybe thirty thousand around jumia even if the product is six thousand era on 1688 i cannot sell it at ten thousand era yeah even though i'm selling your sales so if a product is 30,000 naira on Jumia, for instance, because I want to sell it very cheaply for you and make you feel like you have good value for your money, I can sell it. If it's 30 on Jumia, Hub, all those things, I can sell it at 22, 20. Like, okay, for me to really sell it fast and I'm making my money back. Ahead. So I check other sites to see how much people have if priced what I am selling also yeah. then another thing is that i will calculate the the cost with the shipping when i add it together calculate nigeria logistics as well so and just divide okay by the time i add shipping and add everything together this is, so you must be a good mathematician in this business yeah yeah. You must be a very good mathematician so you must be your you must have your brain working you have your pen in your hand have you know be able to get your figure straight it might not be 100 percent accurate the first time but as you do it also you learn how to do it better so another thing is how i weigh like okay shipping shipping and how much do shipping cost is that most of the time most of the time except for some products shower but most of the time you pay less for the shipping. Like it may be the old products you are buying from China is 150,000 Naira. Most of the time, your shipping fee will not exceed that 150,000. It will not exceed. Okay. Most of the time, it will be like half of what you are buying. 
maybe your shipping fee can be like 70 60,000 naira. Okay. Yes, most of the time. So I also use that to kind of calculate. So it might not be accurate, but most times it's actually accurate. And sometimes too, I can I can put price on a product by times it by times three. So if it's six thousand naira, five thousand naira from China, three thousand naira, I can just say okay, I can sell it nine thousand naira because I know that the shipping fee will not be okay. If I if it's three k from China, I cannot ship it three thousand most of the time. So not be up to three thousand naira to ship yeah. that thing. So I can ship it maybe two thousand naira. So that's five thousand naira. So I can put the price at nine thousand naira. That's three times yeah. three nine. So that means I will have a profit of four thousand naira yeah. on it. So most of the time it works that way also. So if you want to make money, you need to learn mathematics because that's the language of money. Yes. So this has been value pack. Now, from what you just said about um, shipping fee and all those things. Now, when you are bringing goods from outside Nigeria, you have yeah. to pass through the customs, you'll do some clearances and all those things. So is there any technicality involved in that? Do you need uh, a license? Do you need, um, do you have anything to do at the border when your products are coming in? All those things. Okay. Well, it depends on the products because presently I'm facing that challenge presently. Okay. What happened is that when most of the time your warehouse, the shipping company, they know how to handle that. Okay. They are the one handling custom, handling, clearing. It is not your own business. It is not your own entity okay. at all. What you just need to do is to pay them the shipping fee, pay the clearing fee. They will tell you how much to pay. They are the one handling it. So another thing is presently, like that blender I've been talking about, it's what I'm shipping presently. The, the the this last batch i just bought it ought to have left china since last week but has not left because the shipping company told me that they cannot ship branded products presently because of like they are they have issues with custom that custom they are restricting the, the shipping of branded goods that they, they have they are doing serious checking so like my blender has not left china since last week it ought to have left so they told me to get authorization from the company from the brand that i'm shipping from so i reach out to those brands you know chinese people now i reach out to them and i'm buying from their company directly so they said they don't understand anything about brand authorization that they don't understand so what i now did next is to contact another shipping company to know if they have the same issue as well so when i reach out to another company so so what i now have to do is to contact another shipping company so and so i explain the predicaments to them and i want to be sure if they can ship okay no like they cannot ship the product actually they can ship it but they cannot ship it through c and most times okay. most of the time i use c to ship those products because they are heavy and it will be cheaper to use me yes to see than using fresh using the hair so my the shipping company told me that they can use air to ship maybe they will use it to a particular stage and then when they get to a particular place they will now use the air to get to nigeria so that one that pricing is different from using just c to bring it down to nigeria so when i calculated it i realized i was spending so much so I told them not to ship it through air at all. That no, 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 it's not going to be a good, a good one for me at all. What I'm supposed to use like seventy thousand naira to ship. I will not be using like hundred and thirty thousand naira. So I said it's not going to pay me that they should not ship it. So what I now do is to reach out to another company and ask if they can ship through sea, and if they are not constrained by the custom, whatever. And they said mm. they can that they have no problem with the custom something. So I now change address. Okay. Change address. So I told the wearers to let me send it to the other wearers. So that is what we are trying to do now. So sometimes there can be restrictions on some products. Like, you know, you need to also understand some products will not be able to import, like toys. 
Mm. Yes, you might not be able to import such. Of course, I know there are people who import it. Maybe they are licensed to. You know, okay. all these things about. Yes, they can be licensed to. So you cannot just import it as a normal person. Like just so you need to get licensed as well. All right. So for some product, you need a license. And for some, you don't need. It. Nobody will like question it for fashion products, beauty products, even some security products. You might not need license to to ship them. Wow. So as we prepare to round up, one question I want to ask is because this is the internet, there yeah. are a lot of scammers, and even on sixteen eighty eight, there could be scammers. Yeah. Add pictures of products, but they don't have any products to ship to you. They'll collect your exactly. money and do so. So, how do you avoid scammers on website like 1688.com if you want to start mini importation? Hmm. Well, I I have been scammed on 1688 before. <laughs> 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 it's a life scheme. So like I didn't expect it at all. Kai. I didn't expect work, <laughs> but it's real. It's not like Nigeria or something. Remember, it's rampant. Mm. Like all through my almost five years in the business, this company is just so it's just two people that have done it for me. Out of like maybe like hundreds over hundred companies that have transacted with, so it's very yeah. low. But those two, you know, there's where they can make your heart like ah, like the first time I wanted to buy some suits okay. for a particular like some law students i want to buy them this lawsuits all those kind of things so i've paid but one thing i noticed is that the price that company was portraying was just too low okay. was too low to be true so and i think that's another thing that we should watch out for as much as things are cheap or eight, don't just you know when, when you say a price that seems very ridiculous, you should be very careful. Yeah. Like we used to say in Nigeria that a wolf the wrong belly. Yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think I was attracted because the price seemed like very cool. And I paid the guy. One and when I paid, he stopped replying. He just stopped replying. I'm like, what? What happened? What just happened? So I had to start refunding those people it was <laughs> it's also yeah. terrible and they can't believe me now like ah, yeah those are part of the risk in the business thank god it's someone that even knows me but that's fine for that the guy knows me like i'm a good person but ah, you know now when it comes to money no, mm -hmm. exactly you have to bear the risk also like this has happened i have to repay sorry it was not easy it was it really affected <laughs> but it is it's one of the things that business you know when yeah. you, need to, you need to factor in as well so what i what i just learned then is that you should not just rush at prices like you know when you look at the price on different sites even on 16 says you know because you have different companies selling the mm -hmm. same products so you can compare their price so when you now see a, pro, a company that is offering very low, because they, those scammers will want to entice you with price. Yeah, yeah. So when you now see, you should be very careful. You should be very careful. So and then on that sixteen eighty eight app also, there are some regulations. If you are using that sixteen eighty eight app to pay directly to you know, so much that you are protected from okay. scammers. Yes, scammers. you are protected. Okay that the person needs to ship the product first and then when you make payment and the person is not delivering your 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 goods you can ask for a return you can ask for a return and then they don't have any choice than to refund your money okay, so that's so if, you, if you make payment since yeah. it keeps the payment till you yeah. get the goods before they pay the supplier exactly. yes wow and if they don't send you the products, if the supplier does not they didn't send you the products, you can request for a refund. There's a place of requesting for refund. But most challenge many importers do have is that before you set up those internet eight app to be working, the way it ought to work, it can be it requires a lot. So sometimes 
we might just we might not be buying through the direct channel like even for for now too i'm buying through 1688 but also i'm i'm just because i had issue with my ali pay account at the time that you no know, i can't pay directly so because of that was even when i was calm then because i wasn't paying directly okay. i was paying through an agent the agent will make payment for me then i will send screenshots to the company so it's better you get your onions right set up your mm. signature let it let it be working perfectly it saves you a lot of stress a lot of drama and then the other wow. person too i wanted to buy jewelry it was jewelry i wanted to buy i paid the guy and then he stopped replying as well but at a point he replied again and then he was asking me he told me the group was out of stock that will i need to do i want my money back and then he sent the money back okay. even though it was fine so i i guessed when he was not replying maybe it was out of town or something i don't know so that just showed him that the guy was not actually his karma but something just happened in between in between so sometimes you just have to be you know patient like this business need a lot of Need to be patient. Need to understand the people you are working with. Their time zone is different from our own. Yeah. So that can also be a barrier. You can chat them during the day, and they are not replying. You now then, you know, when I just started, I will always complain like These people don't reply messages. These people don't. Mm -hmm. So then, and I realized you need to chat them at night if you really want them to reply because when we are in the night, at night they are in the morning. Yeah. So they already at their working place. So imagine I'm chatting them in the afternoon, in the evening, when they're already back at home trying to work. Uh -huh. yeah. They will not reply. Okay. So that you need to understand the people you are trying to transact business with as well. So that you will not be afraid. Like, well, maybe you just finish paying them and they are not replying. You know, say, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to be patient. <laughs> wow. Wow. That has been awesome. Talk, you talked about patience. So, if I'm shipping from China or from anywhere, like on average, how long does it take the goods to arrive in Nigeria? On average, if you're sending from, if you are sending through air, we have air shipping, we have sea shipping, okay. and then we have air and sea shipping. Okay. Okay. So the air shipping takes about three weeks. That's twenty-one days. Okay. The sea shipping takes. 10 weeks that is two months two weeks yeah depending on the company you are using sometimes it can be more sometimes it can even it might not even be up to that and most times it's just that exactly 10 weeks oh, okay and then you can also shoot through express express delivery takes three days okay but that express to me i don't really advise it because you can't get your goods in three days. Why? Because your, you know, even from the warehouse you are buying from, for the logistics to send it to your shipping company, most times it can take like two days. Okay. Because China is very large. Mm. I remember a time I bought um, this running running shoe, all these running shoe that guys use. So there is this customer I had and I was buying it in bulk. Like you would buy like hundred. PS buy like 200 like it was buying much and it was buying and buying buying so i was using one particular company and i was buying from there from china so the guy i noticed it was doing delivery himself okay. when i pay for the for the shoes he will now carry it in his car to go and deliver to the warehouse in china so mm. that day i was telling him that ah it's second time he should send he now sent me a picture of him driving his car with my with my with my exactly he said he has been on road for 16 hours ah, i'm like oh girl so it takes time sometimes it's kaken appear they used to deliver it's not this kaken appear that they used to deliver so it takes time mm -hmm. so before you some people will think that once they pay today now express you will start coming yeah ah, do not start coming it will not start coming up. you need to wait like at least it's like one to three days for your goods to even leave the warehouse and then to go to the shipping company the shipping company will now arrange your products arrange your own good and then now bring it so their own calculation 
just started. So if you are doing express delivery from China, that express the fastest, you can ship it. It's gonna be less than seven days. Okay. Though it, you can maybe it can now be like five days. But I don't think it can be less than five days. Like. So the express is more expensive. Exactly, it's more expensive. Not like very very expensive, but it's expensive than yeah. others. The normal shipping. Exactly. Okay, so, is there a way you can track the particular location of your products if you order for them? You no, know, there are some app where when you order for products, you can actually see when it leaves the warehouse and yeah. it gets to the ship and all those. Is there a way to follow up with your products like that? Yes, there is a way. Depending on the on the shipping company you are using. Okay. So some should be company they have websites they would give you tracking code to check and some don't some don't okay so before so when I started the business I used to track and check but now I don't do it I don't really track and track I just yeah. know that it's on the way it will come okay oh exactly o- only beginners will bother about that if you, are in, exactly. if you have been in it for long you exactly so actually come one more question okay if you if you are selling online we've talked about identifying scam suppliers if you are selling online you yeah. also can be seen as a scammer right because yeah. people are skeptical they have paid for products before and they didn't receive it so if you are here in nigeria how do you position yourself so that people can trust you to okay. send you money so that you sell your products to them well Mm, I think firstly there are always people that are always doubt that will yeah. be doubting Thomas there's no there's no way you can convince them there are people like that so one way I would say that you can position yourself that will make people trust you number one consistency when people see that you keep like you just you are showing up you know they tend to scammers don't have such patience yeah, you just yeah. open one page, you want to sell, and then once they up, yeah. scan you, they are gone. Yeah. So consistency. People want to check your page. How have you been consistent? Have you been doing okay? Once they can see that you have been there, <laughs> they will relax and yeah. patronize you. Then number two, also, you need to let your your page be well. You know, let it reflect good character. Is it where well, if it's business or is it for, for business? I don't think for business. You don't have to show yourself in the bar drinking with your friends. Now upload mm. a picture of you put it on your business page. That's that's misrepresentation. That's yeah. yeah. So you need to make sure your your, your page is well at least when people scroll because people will scroll and scroll and scroll. Yeah. Before they need their money to see it, it's okay, they yeah. want to check your profile and be sure. So you need to make sure your your business page is not where you just drop anything that you like and then you must keep showing up with time they'll get convinced that this person that is showing up is is actually real and then sponsored adverts so we give people a level of trust yeah yeah i don't think scammers sponsor their they don't have that they don't have that passion uh, but, no. but some of them do go to that extent but they cannot do it for a very long time so i think the showing up consistently you can tell like for instance when i was to, I was to start importation business the person i learned from i met her on instagram i saw a sponsored advert on instagram and then i just my spirit just risen like this person is real because i've, I've seen how i've seen testimonials on our page and it's good you also upload the testimonials i've seen how people have said ah, this person is good of course cameras do that too but as well you can tell that this one is, is actually genuine so and that was just how i i start i paid five thousand era to learn, to learn that time and then it was awesome. thank you awesome. <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much um Ah. one last one what's the advice you give to somebody who is about to start mini importation from nigeria what will you recommend that person do and all those things 
okay okay my advice would be don't be afraid don't be afraid the best time to start is now don't yeah. even think of starting tomorrow start now that is my number one advice start now you get better by the way you get better the more you, you do it so don't wait till you have all the money till you have all the knowledge just start from somewhere start from exactly. somewhere exactly so that's my number one and then like we have mentioned earlier test the market test the market to know what people in your environment really need test the market so that you don't import goods and then you're like we are buyers yeah yes yeah, so test the market then number three get knowledge don't just say i have learned that i have people have taught importation back then i'm teaching them again because they can see okay they are new dyna dynamics what how do we do this one i was telling them you need to fail you say ah yeah. but we paid them i'm like me too i paid my coach then as yeah. i still work yeah, you know, see, I yeah, yeah 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 that's it then i'm still paying so if you, you need to pay so you need to get knowledge and keep getting don't be tired don't say i've paid sometimes you get values on youtube other times so you need to pay with money yeah yeah. It's very a waste of time. People don't like to pay for knowledge. It should just yeah. fall on your lap. So as a people will say that coach is very stingy. He's all the information. Well, that person to pay to get that yeah. information. Yeah. So you need to give something to get what you, what want. you want. So if you really exactly. want that, really want it, pay for it, exactly. and and the long run you will see that it will pay off for you and the fact is when you pay to learn you yeah. pay more attention so exactly. when you pay money you yeah. also pay attention now exactly. guys like i said earlier i will leave a link to her youtube channel in the description and how you can contact her but before we go do you have a course or a training program that people can join what are they getting the course and how can they um, tap into that okay i have a prepared course on importation how you can start the I, I like a to z what you need to do how you need to set up all the application uh, shipping companies that you can use that are reliable contact of trusted companies everything everything i've mentioned earlier everything you need to do companies you can buy from products you can you know sell everything that you need to get started so i have a prepared course on the, okay. on that yes sir so how, how much is the course the course is seven thousand naira, but awesome. now i'm running a promo is five thousand naira presently wow. five thousand naira wow. like and mentorship as well you are mentored you are taught you know and you can come back to me and ask questions when you are stuck like i'm just holding you by the hands till you you have exactly. fully developed exactly the business so like i said earlier mentorship coaching is very very important in a business like this because it's not just something that you do all in your room there is a lot of movement outside so you need somebody to show you the way the, the road all these movements are passing through okay so i'm going to leave a contact in the decision you should get that course if you really want to go into many importations so i learn how this 1688 website works because i just opened the website now and i saw that everything is just in chinese so <laughs> learn how this website works how you can order for these products how to contact trusted suppliers trusted delivery agents so if this is basically what you want to do you should take advantage of this promo for just five thousand naira. you get a full mini importation course that you go ahead to start implementing. Thank you so much, Ma, for coming. I really appreciate your presence and I really learned a lot. Thank you so much. We are very grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so the much. Pleasure is mine. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I believe you learned a lot and I believe this video helps you in a great way. Now, don't forget, go to the comment section and leave how to start mini importation in Nigeria and also give this video a like and if you had to subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel click the subscribe yeah. button and turn on notification and make sure you check out mrs fumilayo's channel in the description box and make sure you get the course if you want to start mini importation and succeed in nigeria
thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in the next video